Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things Lego. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hello, Anna. My name's Nathan. Uh, we're here at uh, Brick Rodeo Houston. Um, I got my uh, click and slide water park here. I um, want to start off on this side with uh, what I like to call the gold mine. Uh, minifig kind of uh, comes down the lazy river. We'll float up into the... Uh, into what I like to call the shaker, which is the uh, feed mechanism to put the minifig back into the ride. And then uh, we'll come back through the tube. Um, I like how it just uses a big construction shovel to pick up the minifig. I tried to make it look like a piece of mine equipment so that it would all kind of fit together as a gold mine. Originally, I was going to call the ride the Pirate's Plunge. But uh, as you can see every once in a while, a plunge will happen um the um once i got the shaker built you know the the minifig repeater uh it looked so much like a piece of mining equipment that i was like it has to be the gold mine so <laughs> yeah it, uh, it was a pretty neat like i said um most of the ride itself um get it kind of right here so the pump inside the uh, the uh, what's pumping the water through the tube is down inside the mountain It'll pump up through this hose, come down through the tube, and then feed the mini fig, you know, mini fig through the current back this way down the lazy river. Um, then I have an EV3 computer picking up the mini fig as it comes by with a color sensor, and uh, the computer underneath the, com the uh, table. So, what are those blue tube pieces from? What set is that from? Uh, they're from a um, friend's water park set. Uh, that they come out with a while back ago. Um, but they only come with a few of them inside the set. I wound up having to get them bulked through Lego. But there's 125 tube segments to make up the water ride. Well, this is a super impressive ride. Looks like the kid's having a lot of fun there. So we'll keep moving down to the next one then. And what is this front section out here? All right, so this here um, is going to be uh, surfs up the wave pool, the wave pool, and uh, what it does is I've got it on a timer that's running off of a, e a nine volt regulator that's controlled by an EV3. So the servo on the EV3 turns the regulator, which turns the motor on. So it's time to go off about once every minute and a half, and it'll stay on for about 30 minutes, you know, 30 seconds, and shut off. Um, the wave pool itself was very interesting because the, the wave break, how you make a nice clean wave, that was a technical thing. It didn't just come out because I moved water up and down, you know. Um, there is a piston inside the pump house with the motor running that. That goes up and down underneath the water line, and that causes it to push water out the bottom of the ride and make the nice wave up the wave break. While we're waiting for that to start up, you can come around and look at this side where you've got the big uh, party happening. So over here is my uh, Muppets concert. Um, what I did here is is the lighting on it. It's just uh, it's a couple of flashing lights that are uh, red, green, yellow, and blue. And if you look at the background, you'll see how the colors change and fluoresce and glow as each different color hits it. Um, it's kind of like a lighting effect that almost adds movement to the minifig that isn't there. Um, when you focus on different parts of the mouth or face, especially on animal, it's like he's blinking. Or you know, It's really neat how different colors of light affect Lego, so using it on the stage really gave it a, a dancing effect, you know. You also have tons of great references to old themes and just fun Easter eggs here, but I see the wave pool started back up, so we'll take another look at that. So. Talk about kind of having Lego in real water like this. What are the challenges with that? So the challenges with the water was just everything you didn't think of. Keeping it from leaking was okay. So the whole Lego is built onto a custom table. The Lego itself is just sheeted on top. There's no glue. There's no sealant on the Lego. Only the table itself is sealed. So as the water stays, you know, there's really nowhere for it to go but the table. Um, and then from there, the, the, the tricks that I had or the problems I would come with would be that water tends to wick between the Lego and the table. So it would run out from the edges and all kinds of little places you wouldn't expect water to go. It finds its way. So um, 
in order to keep some of that from happening, I put a little grease underneath the edge of the Lego just to keep it from getting any water to come underneath. But again, really no glue. So when this thing's ready to come apart and build into something else, that's what will happen. <laughs> And you've got this third ride, so we can talk about that one now as well. All right, so this one over here is Dino Falls. This was my inspiration to build the water park. This is my first ride I ever done that included water. Um, it's made of many, many tires. It's like 330 of the small tires to make up the conveyor belt and a whole bunch of side gears and axles and so on. So each little wheel section turns, and that carries the boat up. And then on the other end, it will come down with the water current, which is flowing to bring it back to the wheel, the conveyor belt again. Uh, when it hits down, it'll splash the people on the bridge and, and lots of fun there. Um, is there any danger with that splash there of the water spilling over? How did you figure that out? Yeah, so when it was in my house working on it, you see the clear glass along that back corner. That's where it's keeping it from flying over the edge of the table. But it doesn't throw a huge splash, but uh, it's enough to want to put it there so people can see the water on it and go, see, it's splashing. <laughs> What is the surface of the slide down there? What pieces did you find worked well to get the boat down? All right, so that is an old section of, um, I believe it's like a bridge. It's a part of an old road uh, construction bridge piece. And there's, uh, I think, uh, the entrance, the egg, you know, the, the two slope pieces, and then I think there's three or two of the flat pieces there. And uh, what was nice about those is there are large pieces, so I was able to put them up, you know, stab them against each other and not have a whole lot of gaps. Um, what I did do to avoid water coming off is if you look underneath, you'll see there's grates down under the ride. And that right there is where the water will drip off the boat and so on and back into the sump. So... You know, the uh, water, any water that's dripping out of the slide or anything that comes out will just go right back down into the plate and into the sump that's underneath the ride. And I mentioned some of the fun references earlier, so take us through kind of this party area out here. Who all do you have there? My favorite that I noticed right away is the Western, the old <laughs> Western guys. Yeah, and what I thought was fun about that was finding enough cards for them to have a card game. And then it fits some of the mining stuff. And then uh, as you go behind that, you'll have the uh, the you know, the family who showed up for a nice you know night at the park and wound up with uh, an alien invasion on them. Uh, Sandy the squirrel's got her bag of nuts for a snack, but all the other squirrels are uh, interested in those nuts. <laughs> uh, when you start going underneath the slide ride, you'll see in the very back there's some uh, hazmat guys with a pink trash can. Uh, they're trying to help that sick guy to make sure ain't nothing spread around. <laughs> and then uh, Manor Ray's stealing um, Aquaman's pants right in front of that. Next to that is some, uh, some uh, star stormtroopers that were skipping work and their boss caught them. And I like to use the little angry fish from SpongeBob in places so for fun, you know, because it's odd. So there's the boss is the angry fish, and then there's an angry fish cop, which I believe is here. Oh, so they knocked him down. So angry fish cop and uh, the cowboy, and I think there's shack fish over here. <laughs> oh, everywhere you look, there's there's something to see. And uh, I that, like your use of the big technic figures as well. Yeah, yeah. Poor man lost his balloon, so he's trying to help him. And I figured the technic figures, they, nobody ever sees them, so bringing them out and every once in a while and setting them on a display sure does ask for curiosity. Where did that come from? And, so now if we take a look kind of behind the big trees here, you can see some of the, the controls there. So talk a little bit about kind of what runs all this and how, how that whole process works. All right, so what I got is a couple of EV3s that are running some, I mean, a couple of 9-volt uh, regulators that's being run by one EV3. Uh, what that did for me is allow me to be able to run the rides without having the battery consumption and still have the control through the computer. Um, it does run in the Dino Falls and in the uh, Wave Pool, the Surf's Up. They both use some um, of the uh, Power Functions motors back to the 9-volt regulator, and then the 9-volt regulator is being turned by the servos for EV3. So uh, that allowed me to be able to use the computer without having to use the brain to power the motors, you know. We have a couple of trolls hard at work here. Yeah, yeah, I figured I can't have the knobs being turned unless somebody's turning them, and those trolls is about the only thing big enough to do it, so. 
And what is this building back here for? All right, so that is my incinerator. If you look, trash is going in and the food is going out. So all our waste on our place goes from the incinerator to the molds and then back to the place again. So I would call it uh, from mini fig to mini fig. <laughs> Instead of farm to market, mini fig to mini fig. And of course, you can't have a park like this without some food and some concessions. So what offerings do you have in the park for that? All right. So that was something that I spent like two weeks on and you can barely see back there. But uh, yeah, I got um, the concession stand brings out the food for everybody. So if you look around, there'll be food in just about everybody's hand that's not swimming. And uh, if it, I don't know if they get in there and see, but the concession stand has all the menus and all that sort of stuff up on it. So try to not skip any detail. I'm trying to think of just about everything. I think the only thing I couldn't find a place for was a locker room. So my room in underneath the, uh, the slide is supposed to be the uh, entrance to the basement complex. <laughs> Very nice. When, as we go to the front here, you can see kind of the entrance gate here. So talk about the design of this part. All right. So this is the water park to Six Bricks theme park. So Six Bricks is a theme park that I, that I build. And this is just the water park section. So having the, um, having the um, Six Bricks on the, on the main entranceway and then, then the park itself is called click and slide so it's kind of like the old astro world water world type situation so we have the main park six bricks and this is click and slide the water park so and then uh you know you have the old entrance gate and if you look around at the mini figs we've got some sharks that managed to get a ticket that probably shouldn't let sharks into the swimming pool so what's happening over here so we have senior flash and Flash Jr., and of course, he's just gotten off this ride and wants to get on to the next one, but his dad knows he ain't going to slow down, so he's got his little fire extinguisher. And you got the little tree man over here looking at bugs and got the bear checking out the honey. <laughs> oh, a little something everywhere you look, you know. Even the dinosaurs, we got the egg clutch that they're protecting. Now, I see with some of these rides like the boat here it'll start to get waterlogged and things so what are some of the challenges with that how much maintenance does this require throughout the day for you so uh most of the maintenance is in the uh, tube ride just making sure that the minifig doesn't get trapped somewhere the boat does need to get tipped out and emptied if it doesn't get emptied enough but most of the water will run out of the boat once it goes up the ramp so i would say that about 98 percent of the time dino falls without a problem surfs up is doing a little clicking right now but we'll get that fixed shortly and so uh how how many gallons of water kind of run through this whole thing would you say so everything all the rides are about five and a half gallons of water total and then that is contained within the table each one has its own little sump and then the table itself is a sump so any leakage would go into that and then out the bottom into a bucket so I have like one spot where water will come out. And if a lot starts coming out, then I know I got a problem. Otherwise, it's fine. <laughs> How long did setup take for you at the show here? Because obviously you've got a lot of different moving parts going on. So this all got built before I left my house and wound up here in one piece. So uh, the trees and stuff had to be righted and little thing. And I took the tube ride off and put it back on. But that was about it for, um, for show. I was really lucky because it's on a custom table made as part of the table you really can't just take you know it it's solid so it doesn't come off can we see under the table at all to see your buckets or some of the behind the scenes there no, it's very I, I did it to try to to try to keep the, the mystique about it <laughs> but if you look the table's just a solid wood table and then it's seven bricks tall and this sheet just hangs off of it so well, this is spectacular. I love the, the creativity of all the different water rides here and incorporating real, leg, real water with the Lego. We don't see that very often, so I'm glad it's mostly going well for you. And j just so you know, there's no glue or sealant on the Lego itself. All the water is contained by the table, and the, uh, the, the water just kind of flows through the Lego as it goes. So, yep. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Appreciate y'all coming out.